What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well today. As you guys can tell by today's video title, we have a super exciting one. We're actually going to be trying out wedding dresses from House of CB. Now, if you guys have been on my channel for a little while, you may know that I have a series on my channel where I basically try out a bunch of affordable wedding dresses. However, this time around is going to be slightly different. Normally, I would try out super long, extravagant looking gowns, but this time we're going to be trying out short cocktail dresses only. So if there's any of you out there that want to get married or you have your wedding planned but you can't really picture yourself in like a massive long dress I feel like this one is for you so for today's video I picked up a couple of dresses from House of CB I'm obsessed with the packaging so I can't wait to see what's inside if you guys are new here and you guys haven't seen my face before hi I'm Roxy welcome to my channel if you guys did want to stick around be sure to subscribe down below but if you guys want to see what kind of dresses I picked up for my wedding then without further ado let's get into it okay so as you guys may already know just a little bit of backstory. I posted a video maybe like a month or two ago now where I actually picked my actual wedding dress for the ceremony. I didn't actually show you guys the one that I picked but you guys will find out soon enough because we've actually set our wedding date and it is this year which I'm so excited about. I told myself that I was just gonna wear one dress but you guys know me I am extra so I actually wanted to change into something a little bit more like fun and a little bit more wearable towards the end of the night. So I really wanted to something that was comfortable for my second dress. I didn't want to have to wear a massive gown the whole time. So basically I started searching online for a shorter wedding dress that still gave like, you know, extravagant and wedding vibes, but just really more wearable, if that makes sense. And that's when I found these House of CB dresses. Honestly, they are so nice looking. They're obviously not your cheapest dress. Like when it comes to party dresses, these are way better quality than most online kind of retailers these days. This isn't sponsored by the way, I just really like House of CB. I mean, if you see this video, House of CB, I am here waiting for the sponsorship. First things first, this is the packaging. It's absolutely amazing. I love the little bow. It just feels so premium. And I mean, it should because these dresses were like 150 to 200 pounds each. I think I picked up like five dresses to try out and hopefully one of these will be my like second wedding day dress. All right, so here is what the box looks like when we've opened it. We've got the little thank you card. All the dresses are then wrapped in tissue so let's open them up all right so here is the first dress this one is actually more of a midi dress and when I saw this on the website it just screamed wedding here is the top so as you can see it's got really nice bra cups they're very very dainty and I just really like the shape it's also got these straps which are so pretty I love dainty straps like this they're not adjustable sadly I don't know if it's picking up on camera but this dress is actually more of like a ivory creamy kind of dress rather than completely white. I absolutely love the fact that it's very, very ruched on the skirt. I mean, the skirt is very creased, so it would definitely need a steam, but I just really like the shape and silhouette of it. It looked amazing on the model. It was very snatching. It does also have a really long slit on the side here. Let's see how much this dress was. Okay, so this dress was slightly more expensive than I thought. It was £189, which, I mean, if it's good quality, which it does feel like it is, like the fabric is very, very thick. It's also got like a lot of of wiring and boning inside it like under the bra and also in this little like corset area just for size reference I got this in the extra small with the plus cups they were standard cups and the plus cups I went for the slightly larger ones because when it comes to cups like this I always find them way too small so I guess let's try this first one on and see how it looks all right guys so here is the first dress and what it looks like on oh my gosh I am so in love with this firstly let's talk about the neckline and the straps how freaking cute are these straps. I love how dainty they are and they are so like wide apart. I really like that effect. The cups are literally perfection. They are keeping me in. I'm not like splurging over the top. They are just the right size and they have a lot of support because of this wire underneath. As for the silhouette of the dress, it is very snatching and it has just the right amount of ruching across the belly to make it really flattering on. The dress also has this ginormous slit on the side which I actually really really like. I mean it's almost touching my butt but I feel like it's pretty acceptable because it's on the side. As for the back, this is what it looks like on the bag. It's pretty simple actually. Now lengthwise this does go all the way down to the floor and I feel like it's touching like my ankle so it would look really nice with heels I think. It still has that like wedding vibe but not as formal so this would be perfect for like the after party, the reception, if you want to change out of your ceremony dress. Also the fabric on this is so premium quality. I really really love it. It feels very thick 
and just really nice on the skin. So I think I'm going to give this one a 10 out of 10. I really like this. All right, we're moving on to the next one. This one is also wrapped in this gorgeous House of CB tissue. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay, you guys, this one is definitely on a little bit of a different vibe to the previous one. Like the previous one was like really slick, really glamorous. Whereas this one, I would say, reminds me of like a picnic or I don't know, maybe like a lawn wedding. It's very like boho in my opinion, but still so stunning. First things first, the straps are actually adjustable on this one. They're very dainty, which I really like. I really like how simple and squared off the neckline is. I think that's gonna be really flattering on anybody. It then once again has a really distinct line where kind of like the bodice ends. And after that, it's literally just this floaty skirt. I absolutely love it. It's got a really thick kind of like hem on the bottom. This looked stunning on the model. I cannot wait to try this on. I don't know if this would be the kind of vibe that I'd be going for, but I really wanted to try it out for you guys in case you would. Like I said, this would be a really cute like garden party kind of wedding on the lawn or in a meadow. Can you imagine the photos? This is definitely giving me very cottage core kind of vibes. So if that's your thing, I feel like you would love this, but let's go try it on and see how it fits. All right guys, so here is the next dress and what it looks like on. I have to say this one probably isn't as wowing and out there as that first one. However, the quality is really nice of this. I really love how much movement this dress has and I feel like it would be amazing for dancing in. It's also like the perfect length. It's not too long. So I feel like you would definitely be able to like wear some really nice heels and show them off. I can totally see a dress like this being worn to like the after party of like a really chilled small wedding, maybe one that's outside in like a garden. I think for that, this would be really nice because it's very simple, very elegant and minimalistic. Personally for me, I'm gonna say this is not the one Although I really, really love it, I might just keep it for like, I don't know, an occasion somewhere. But for my second wedding dress, I would say this is a little bit too plain for me. So I'm gonna give this like a seven out of 10. All right, guys, moving on to the next dress. We're gonna be trying out, I think one of my favorites from this video. And if my gut tells me right, this could be the one. It just looks so stunning. It's exactly what I'm looking for because for my wedding dress, like the actual ceremony one, I went for a fishtail kind of shape rather than the princess. I feel like this is giving me those princess vibes, but in like a modern day way. If you've been keeping up with any of my wedding dress videos throughout the years, you'll know that it was such a struggle to choose between the princess poofy kind of dresses and the more like slick kind of fishtail ones. But I feel like if I go for this dress as my second dress, I might just get the best of both worlds. Here she is. Oh wow, I love it. Okay, so first things first, it's got these cute little lace straps, which I mean, if that doesn't scream wedding I don't know what does it's just such a nice nod to like a typical like traditional wedding dress with all the lace but it's done in a really modern way it's also got this little like lace trim on the top here I absolutely love the ruched neckline and the bust and then the best part is actually the back look at this back you guys it's got a little like tie up corset in the back which I'm obsessed with as for the length of the dress this is how long it is so it's quite a short one and I feel like it'll be perfect for like the little party afterwards. I feel like I'll be able to freely dance in this and not have to worry about like getting my actual wedding dress completely filthy. Also, I really love the fact that the hem has that lace to kind of match the straps. So this dress was 159 pounds, which I feel like is a lot for a dress that's literally this small, but the quality is amazing. And after the wedding, I could always wear it on like any occasion. So it's pretty versatile in that sense. So let's pop it on and see if this is the one. All right, so here's the next dress. As you guys can tell I'm in love with this one. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be such a hard choice between this one and that first one already. How stunning is this dress? I have these straps like kind of off the shoulders, but I think the way you're actually supposed to have them is like this. To be honest, you can have them either way. I feel like I have enough support in the bra area to like have them off the shoulders, but if you do want that extra support, you can have them like this. I'm just obsessed with the little like lace detailing. It just looks so wedding appropriate. I realized that this is kind of short, but it's giving me such like modern day princess and fairy vibes that I am so here for it. Again, it has quite a lot of movements. So I feel like it'd be amazing for dancing. I just love it so much. I feel really good in this one. I know it's definitely on the shorter side, but to be honest, if I wore some like neutral shorts under this, I feel like I'd be okay. Also for like the party side of the wedding, I really didn't want to have like a super long gown. That's why I wanted that second dress. So I feel like this is actually a very strong contender and obviously it looks gorgeous from the front, but from 
from the back. Wait till you see it. How freaking stunning is that corset detail? I'm obsessed. Like I said, I'm genuinely in love with this dress. Let me know what you guys think, but I'm giving this one a 10 out of 10 as well. All right, now moving on to the next dress. We're gonna be trying on this one right here. The second I saw this dress on the website, I fell in love with it, but this one is a little bit on the sexy side, so I don't know how appropriate this would be for like my after party kind of wedding dress. But here it is. It's made of like a really silky kind of satin sort of fabric. It kind of looks like a nightgown, I'm not gonna lie. Like this could be my nightgown on the night of the wedding, to be honest, but I really, really love that lace detailing on the bra. It doesn't have any support, but the straps are adjustable and I really, really like how the back is kind of lower. Now this dress does also come with its separate little, what is this called? A corset, I guess? This is what it looks like. So you just basically layer this over the top. It just has a zipper in the back, but you can tighten it on the front with the strings. So this dress was once again, 169 pounds. I mean, I don't know if it's worth it for a little nightgown looking dress, but it did look really cute on the model. So hopefully I can pull it off. Okay, as much as I liked this one on the website, I have to say now that I have it on, it is just not appropriate at all. It honestly just looks like a night dress. I, <laughs> I would definitely not wear this as my second dress on my wedding day. I don't know. I feel like I just went a little bit crazy on the website. I feel like House of CB makes any dress look really, really good. And I mean, I like it, but it's definitely a no-no for my wedding dress. I would say this is definitely giving night dress vibes, but if not, at least like party wear. I could totally see someone rocking up to like a club wearing something like this as it's very sexy. I do actually really like it as a dress. Like, don't get me wrong. It's very good quality. I really like these little slits that it has on the sides. The corset is really nice. It's a little bit see-through. I am wearing some dark underwear under this and I feel like you can kind of see it. So yeah, this is definitely not a contestant for my second dress. So I'm going to give this like a five out of 10. Now moving on to the very last dress. We're going to be trying on this one right here. And once again, this is totally giving all the cottage core vibes. Because of the location we're getting married at, this could really, really work. So here it is. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with these sleeves. Are you kidding? So this is what the front looks like. I absolutely love the sweetheart kind of neckline. I actually do think it ties up right here so you can kind of like cinch it together and have like this little peephole, if that makes sense. The sleeves are so cute and puffy. They're totally giving silky vibes. They also are adjustable here so you can like cinch it in at the arm as much as you like. I just love the neckline in the top half so much. It then pretty much just poofs out right from below the bust. So it's definitely giving that baby doll kind of vibe. And then the back looks like this. It's pretty low cut and pretty much backless, which I'm a big fan of. So this dress was 149 pounds. Once again, it's pretty short. So you are definitely paying more for like the quality of it. It doesn't look like it will be see-through or anything. So let's try this last one on and see how it feels. All right, and here is the next dress and what it looks like on. I love this. This is giving me such like beachy vibes. Like imagine a beach wedding and then you want to like change out of your full sort of like gown in the evening just to like chill and have some room. And honestly, I feel like this would be perfect. Honestly though, even if you're not having a beach wedding, I feel like this would be such a gorgeous dress to change into out of like your formal dress. It really just depends on what kind of wedding you're planning on having. Like I'm having a very small intimate like after party and there's not gonna be an awful lot of us. So I don't really wanna be wearing my full ceremony dress. I know some people have like this super amazing second dress that's like just as good as their first first one and honestly that's not gonna be me that's why I'm looking for something a little bit more like chilled and toned down but yeah I really really like this I feel like it's definitely very appropriate I think it's so pretty and the quality is amazing it feels very comfortable and floaty and I have so much room in it so I'm gonna give this one like a 9 out of 10 I think the only thing that would have made it a 10 out of 10 is if it just had a little bit more like pizzazz. Do you know what I mean? Like it's a little bit plain, but that's not to say that that's a bad thing. I just wish it had like a little something extra. All right guys. So that was everything for today's video. Let me know in the comments, which one of these dresses was your favorite and which one you think I'm going to choose. I won't tell you guys cause I want it to be a surprise, but I feel like I definitely found my second wedding dress in this video. I might continue doing more of these videos from like other brands. So if there's any other brands you want to suggest, definitely let me know in the comments because although I feel like I've 
down the one in this video, I might try another one from a different brand and they'll completely change my mind. Like I said at the start, this was my first time actually trying out short looking wedding dresses. So I hope you guys appreciate it. If you guys wanna stick around and watch more videos like this in the future, definitely subscribe and give this video a huge thumbs up down below. If you wanna watch the video where I actually went wedding dress shopping and took you guys along with me and chose my actual wedding dress, then definitely click the link in the eye right here. But that is all from me. Thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Mwah.